unmute that. There we go. Hey, how's it going? Oh, my laptop is blaring to my face. You can actually see that, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> it's just like a bright light on me. Continuing on with Zelda. Oh, is that? Uh, I've shifted the names of the scenes on OBS now, so pressing M doesn't throw me to a different scene, which is always fun. Uh, let's just move some stuff around, get rid of you, get rid of you. Uh, it should be good, I think. And I can skip all this. Save state options, load state. There we go. Down a bit there. And what was I doing? Yeah, I just got on the... Yeah, I got the earth out of them there. And I have to go to mountain up here. Clothes and a mystical hat? Sir, would you by chance be Link, the one who found the Earth element? Surely you are. I have heard so many tales about you. It literally just happened. I am Bellari, researcher of antiques, and uh, I am also, well, a bit of an inventor. You know, you won't be able to get back to town due to all the debris. Debris? Is that what I said? Debris? How do you spell debris? I actually don't know. Here, I have something that might come in handy. You got a bomb bag. Yeah, debris. Alright, send bombs in this. Now you can blow up a lot of stuff. Let me know if you find it useful. I will find that very useful, don't you worry. Important. I think I remember saying last time, and you can see one of these nearly off the screen. This. Holder of the sacred powers, you grant the power of the wind. What? It blew up! Hey kid, look at where that stone mark used to be. There's some strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course. Why, this must be. Well, I haven't the foggiest, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah, when you get the opportunity, you can use that to teleport later. Uh, can't get in there yet. They didn't float pick things up right, yeah. What's everyone doing? <laughs> well, like, not that uh, anyone, anyone's going to respond in real time. <laughs> That'd be good, alright. Uh, I'm fully aware my microphone still sounds like shit. I have ordered a new microphone now. So I got a new microphone on the way, so my audio will get better. Although it is a bit frustrating. Oh, God. Because, uh, literally, like, a I think it was literally a couple of hours after my microphone broke, my chair broke? Not my after my microphone broke, after I bought a new microphone, my chair broke. And it's really unfortunate because I had a really nice, really comfy chair, which I got for free because someone else was throwing it away because they replaced it. Look at this kinstone pin. Have you ever seen one like this? What? You don't know what kinstone pe well, a kinstone piece is? Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you come back to me when you get one, okay? They can't do kinstones, yeah. Yeah, my nice chair broke. So I'm currently sat on, like, a spare, ch a spare office chair we had downstairs. Which isn't nearly as comfortable. And it's hurting my ass. <laughs> I, I put a couple of blankets on it so it can cushion it a bit more. 
I can't sit in it for too long. So I've had to order a new uh, chair as well. It also hopefully arrives in a week or so. I fucking hate you, can I? More mysterious shells. I think those turtle like things were in um uh Link to the Past, right? Oh uh to get rid of you, I have to Yeah, stun you up. I think I can also do with you guys with the boomerang. But yeah, if you were if you thought the angle of the stream looked a bit weird, like my camera. It's because of the chair I'm currently on. It's also a chunk, it's like a good few inches higher than my original chair. As well. So yeah, I'm a lot higher up above my desk than I used to be. Which feels weird. <laughs> you get used to drawing at a particular height and suddenly that height is something else now. I don't know for some reason. It's just the way around, and now we should be in front of the town, right? Yeah. Okay, I already know I can't do anything. Any, I see trees like this where there's like thorns or anything in front of it. I can't do anything about that. That's all unlocked with like kinstone pieces, which is. I can't remember how you start the concern thing. Can't anything like that. Got five bombs. I think, yeah, there's another one as well. No, this is not a concern one, actually. It's sparkling. If I remember correctly, this is sparkling because there's a shrinky, thinky thing under it. But I either unlocked that with a kinstone piece, or I hit that with, like, running shoes later, maybe? Which would also be how I get into that house. But let's go say to hide to my granddad, anyway. So this is your house? Well, it seems like a nice place. So where's my room? Oh, welcome back, Link. But, my, but you're looking so much stronger. If you get tired, just go ahead and take a nap upstairs in your room. I'm busy making swords for the guards to keep the monsters at bay. I wish I could do more, but for now, we need you to save Princess Zelda. I just got free, like, health refill. Actually, I'm gonna do that. Was there like an animation that showed up with Elsa? Yeah. So this is your room. That makes it my room too, right? Hey, aren't you tired? Do you wanna take a rest? Yes. <laughs> that that is uh, weirdly adorable. Oh, yes. That was just what I needed to get back into the fight. Let's go, Link. Yeah, that was an adorable animation. I don't think I'm ever gonna... I don't think there's any real reason to come here and do that. So I figured it. Let's get that done now. Oh, yeah, and the shells are starting to show up, show up like on a regular basis now as well. I think I mentioned before... That uh, on one of my original playthroughs as a kid, I went out of my way to do an entire playthrough where I collected as few shells as possible. And one of the ways I did that was to try and avoid cutting grass to make sure shit like that didn't happen. Okay. And I still don't think I can even do anything with a shell, but I think it's after the next dungeon where I'm not ripping the shells, if I remember correctly. Berries, kind of you. So you guys, yeah. Like my teeth. I was eating some nuts earlier. 
Oh yeah, now I get the Kinson pieces. Come on, come all, see how many Kinson pieces you can collect. You never know what fusing Kinsons will do, but it's sure to be good. Come on up and get your free Kinson bag for holding your Kinson pieces. Don't miss out on this incredible once in a lifetime opportunity. Yes, yes, you're here for the free. I love all the kids who surrounded me. <laughs> yes, yes, you're here for the your free Kinson bag, aren't you? That's right, maybe you didn't hear me, but they're free for all kids right now. You got a Kinson bag, now you can carry Kinson pieces with you. Now, some Kinson pieces you just find on the ground, some are special you actually get from something. Fit it could fit to blah blah together, blah blah blah. If it fits, blah 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 blah. Press L to fuse. Yes, I got that. Yes, yes, that's it. Press L. Now you can see the Kinsen screen. Match the pieces. Hurdy gurdy, man. That's not what hurdy gurdy looks like. Uh. Oh, there's a thing I was talking about. That's literally the one I was showing you, I think. Yeah, that's literally the one I was showing. Perfect, that means we're due for a little happiness. Yeah, as I was saying, I was eating some nuts earlier, which is why I got some stuff in my teeth. A little bit of the, um... skin of it. Thank you. But yeah, occasionally you'll find Kinsey pieces just, like, in the grass. Randomly. I think it's just the green ones that do that? Uh... Maybe? You might find blue ones as well, or red ones. Oh, I'll open this here. No, no, no. That's, uh... Move bombs away. Don't oh, activate it. That's so Mark of Crumble, then there's another one of those symbols. You know, no matter how many times I see that happen, it still rattles me. I'm gonna just eat these as well. Okay, now I've got a few people to talk to. There's a whole bunch of stuff in town as well. Sadly, the Kinstone stuff is like... Not the Kinstone stuff, the shell things, that tree thing over there. I don't have any way of accessing them correctly. Let's see if I can, though. Yeah, because there's dogs in the way, that's right. Zaddy dog. If I remember correctly, in order to get the dog to um, move, you have to talk to it while you're small, because when you're small, for some reason you can talk to animals. If I remember correctly, the Swiftblade School in the south end of town is really awesome. The teacher, Swiftblade, has an amazing direct teaching style. I wish I could train there. Just because you have a sword and shield doesn't mean you'll be safe. I can't let you go out there alone, not until you know some sword te techniques. Haven't I been signed by the king to save your ass? Stamp, stamp, right to left. It never ends. Uh, Kenston thing, I thought I'm correctly. My friend, I come from a faraway land. You can tell by my clothing, can't you? I came to check out a book, but they're not open yet. Oh, well, age brings patience, Sonny. I can wait. You can see lots of little step ladders and things as well. Which is where I can do stuff with the Kinsen pieces at some point. Well, the Kinsen, the uh, shrinking size thingy at some point. I am the postman crossing town at incredible speed to bring you mail.
the one I knew. Ah, uh, no one with symbols. Yeah. Well, if it isn't Link, it is good to see you again. Uh, don't mind if I can adjust my seat. Like I said, it's not very comfy on my ass. School is in session right now, so I'm afraid I can't let you in. Yeah, Link is a child like the others, or the other kids. But it's not clear whether or not he's like an older kid who can't go to school, so maybe the school is just for younger kids. Oh, it looks like they're having fun in there. I wish I could play with them. Why well, can't you play with them? That doesn't seem fair. I think the mayor is doing a fine job, no matter what people say. There's an old legend that something big will happen when Hyrule's bell rings. Yes, and there's a way of doing that. Which I think I know what, how to do that, but not till later. There's gonna be a whole lot of this, like, not till later stuff. That mustachioed guy strikes me as somewhat unreliable. There's something fishy about this room, too. Yeah. <clears throat> I am Hagen, Mayor of the Fair Town. Mayors are usually very important to busy folk, I'll have you know. But I still have a hobby, of course. I collect unusual masks. I just love them, they're beautiful. Simply magnificent, I tell you. Like a little pot. Uh, not till later. What's in here? I can't remember now. Those magic and floor tiles are till, aren't until later. Can I fuse you? Infuse kinstone pieces? Yes. Oh, now this will be your, your piece. Good. Uh, that's the long, long ranch. Which, to my knowledge, is also a not till later type thing. That's unfortunate. They're not open yet. Ah, well, we'll just have to come back later, won't we? Not till later, thing. I on the front of her. Wow, that sword fighting tournament was so exciting. Uh, if only my husband were talented enough to compete. Did you see the tournament? It was incredible. I was out of my seat and cheering before I even knew it. I really want to play a game, but this place isn't open yet. I guess I got here too early. Yeah, uh, I just love shopping, and if I mustn't forget to buy some of that surprise-filled bread from the pitta in this shop here. Yeah, it's implied that, your, that Link wakes up uh, the day after the festival, first thing in the morning. And funny enough, this entire game uh, supposedly happens over the course of a single 24-hour period. Not less than that, I've taken about 9 days, so like over the course of a 16-hour period, so this entire game happens. So Link works fast in this one. Hey, you wanna know what I heard? I heard that it's only kids can see the Bakori. Hey, I wanna see the Bakori too. Can I, can I, can I, huh, can I? So whereas uh, Link from, um... Oh yeah, I showed you what kind of concerns you need as well. This is strange. Still, it's kind of dirty. I guess that guy won't be sitting up here today. Hey, that fresh fruit, fresh fruit. Fresh veggies, fresh veggies. Now come here to eat fresh veggies, and they're fresher than fresh folks, and they're good for you too. Yeah, so whereas every other link like spends like in multiple days going over their adventure because you can actually see the day and night cycle happen. No, this one's like one day. And some guy will eventually come over there, I guess. I'm not going to go into the shops just yet. Let's talk to all the people around first. This town is quite enough, but past the gates there are monsters everywhere. Should you visit Stockwell's shop and get outfitted before you get out there? 
ghost. Buggity buggity boo. Is that a scary? No. Oh no, this is horrible. My cuckoos have all gone out. Can you catch them for me? I'll help. Uh, I'll help, yeah. <laughs> Time to catch two of them within 25 seconds, please. And you can't go into buildings or leave town. He's a fluffy into my face. Come here. I've always catch two of them. Time's up, that's it. Do you want your chickens or not? Thanks, here's your reward. You got 30 rupees, doesn't it feel good to help others? And that's the school we'll going there in a minute. That was a real s centennial, centennial celebration. What does centennial even mean? I don't remember. I first thought it was the best ever. Okay, I think that's all the people outside. Now the people inside. This house supposed to be empty. Hey, what do you want? My sister's not here. She's at school. I'm not interested in my sister, mate. Right? Oh, hello. My brother, is, my brother is at school. Yeah, like, multiple things will change throughout the in-game day as you go on the quest. But to advance the timeline, you have to advance the story. That's for later. What does sign say, actually? Under construction, all digging is prohibited. The pastry shop. Mm-hmm, must make deliciousness. Mmm, doesn't that smell spectacular? Perhaps they give out free samples. I say, would you ask for me? Freshly baked pastries is a, an amazing smell. I'll give you full credit for that. Although I've been trying to lose weight. So I've had to cut down, like, flour, bread, pasta, pastries and all that. I miss bread. I do miss bread. I don't know, I'm cut out completely. I still have it on occasion. I like spaghetti last night. But trying to go on my way to try and reduce the amount I eat and as well as make sure I don't have pastry like every day. Or any kind of like flowery stuff. Please bring whatever you'd like to buy up to the register. You should go for bread for now. Uh, you come to the one and only bakery of Wheaton and Pitta. A delicious brioche, which may or may not have something special inside, is a filling and fulfilling bargain for only 20 rupees. I'm full of rupees, so I might as well buy something. What's a brioche is this? Or it's great for it's great for burgers. It's brioche bread. It looks so crusty and delicious. Ah, oh, you're making me miss bread, mate. Nice fresh crusty loaf. You ever had like a fresh a freshly baked piece of bread where it's still warm and you spread butter on it and the butter just melts into the fresh bread and it has, smells and tastes amazing. Even though it's just bread and butter, it tastes incredible. Oh, fuck. <laughs> There's a kinstone piece inside of your tasty treat. What incredible luck. Now, isn't that, like, illegal in America? That's completely legal over here. You, I think it's, like, a, a Scottish tradition to have, like, uh, I think it's Christmas pudding, and you have like a coin or something inside of it. I'd have to double check that. And we also have like Kinder Eggs and such over here in, um, in Britain. You get those in like Europe as well. But if I remember correctly, isn't it like completely illegal in America to have non-edible non stuff inside of edible food? A except for bones. <laughs> Should I just realize that? Not count bones? Fuck, man, just making this. Man, I could fucking kill a croissant right now. 
Oh, the game place isn't open. The shop guy. Oh, am I going to like... 80 rupees for a wallet, thank I feel it's gonna be like, yeah, you can buy a... You can buy a bigger wallet with a full wallet. Yes, I'm gonna buy that. Big wallet. Much obliged, lad. my good lad. Please do not hesitate to stop by again. I want to learn to bake bread spatter. Diet or not, I'm perfectly okay with eating... If it's something, I'm trying to reduce the stuff in my diet as a whole, but if I'm going to put the effort into, like, if I'm going to have breads or pastries, uh, I'm willing to eat this. I'm, if I put the effort into making it decently myself, I will definitely make an exception diet or not. Because, uh, you know, if you... I'm completely struggling to find the words now. Like, I wouldn't still, still wouldn't be eating it often if I'm having it just, like, as something I've made. And it would be actually, you know, worth the trade-off. Like, as long as I'm not eating, like, pastries as, like, a convenience thing. Which is what I'm mostly trying to avoid. I'm not trying to cut diet, uh, wheat out of my diet entirely. I'm just trying to not eat it as, like, a convenience food. No sandwiches. No, like, sandwiches as a snack kind of thing. Yeah, I think it's just a standard small shield. Because later there are things in the game that can just take your shield. It's good for you. Cafe! I'm actually going in here later. Because that's a lot of people to talk to. Shoe shop. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Rem's Shoe Shop. Lately, whenever I take a nap, all my shoes are done when I wake up. You know, if I can make shoes in my sleep, I must be in the right job. It is weird how these human pots can turn and shrink you up and just nobody questions it. That's right, even some human objects are portals to diminished worlds. Those minish may not look like much, but they are quite crafty. Oh, I guess it's implied that the minish are making that. Also, I can't do anything with that. See the minish working away. That's unfortunately not opening it. But yeah, you see what I meant, meant from the last stream of like, think of that story where the um, shoemaker goes to sleep and the shoes are made, kind of thing. And anything else I can go in? Or do the cafe? No, I think I've done everything but the cafe. And the school. Sora's in the school. Please get out of my way. Thank you. Oh, pardon me. Let's try fusing things in, but... Not right piece, okay. I'm a laid-back, easy-going kind of guy, not a care in the world. And that's just the way I like it. I wish I was more like that. Let me tell you something that might come in handy someday. You can move bookcases and stuff by pushing and pulling different things. Nope. Cheers, yay, cheers, wish of milk for a toast. I wonder what I should have for dinner. Nope. And you. We hear all sorts of interesting gossip in here. Stop by from time to time. We do our best to make this nice cozy place where people can relax. My ideal cafe is a place where everyone can just let it all hang out. Ah, yeah. I haven't been to a cafe like that in a long time. Ah, oh, I can already feel my, feel my throat kind of burning away a bit. But we're almost out of the town. 
I'm done talking to people. Speak. I am Swiftblade, the finest swordsman in all of Hyrule. If you train with me, I guarantee you'll, you will increase your skills dramatically. So, would you like to train here? My ear is itchy now. Yes, please. We shall start with the most basic of all techniques. I shall teach you the spin attack. First, press and hold your sword. Blah, 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 blah. Second, build up power, power. Then release your destructive might. That is all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes. Ah, very good. You are a very quick student. But no, but one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. This has always been kind of weird <laughs> to me. That's why I will now possess your body, so as to demonstrate the technique. I call this the Swift Blade Possession Technique of Training. Watch this. Yeah! Possession! Phew, now you must try it yourself. Press and hold. Then release your mind. That's not blah 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 blah. Yeah. Yes, fine work. You're a quick, you're a quick study. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with this scroll. You may view it any time from the blah blah blah. blah. This is the first technique, uh, first sword technique you've learned from Master Swift Blade. You can get a few from this guy, but there's also a few. There's actually multiple swords I'm just kind of lying about. Each one teaches you something different. Except for this guy who occasionally teaches you uh, something new. However, none of them ever teach you how to control people, which is like how they teach you. That would be like a very, very useful thing to know for saving the world, but they don't ever tell you. <laughs> yeah, fucked, I guess. But now that I'm a slightly better swordsman. Uh, the guards will let me pass. But first, let's get to the castle. We're working here, sorry, but we can't let you pass. Sorry. Oh, fuck sake. I'm gonna go out this way. That must is out there. You prick. I think I can just go all the way around, but I cannot be asked to do that and back. That does go straight there. Ho oh, ho, oh, so you've done the spin attack. It's still dangerous, but maybe you can handle it. Well, let's see how you do. Show me that spin attack. Yeah, that's the one. But there are monsters out there, kids. You can make sure you're careful, so make sure you're careful. I'm a slightly stronger guy. This guy is actually a thief. If he stabbed you, he would steal your stuff. Or maybe another guy. I'm gonna have to double check that. Put that. 